so this is something i missed out in the previous couple of videos because i think it's more important to understand the basic assumptions before heading into the inada conditions but these are uh, two conditions which are also additional assumptions on the production function so we'll state the assumptions and then uh, check whether or how it interacts with the intensive form production function as we have done with the other property so what are the inada conditions so the inada conditions uh, are very simple right so you have this production function then the inada conditions are that the limit as k tends to 0 plus of fk tends to infinity and the limit as k tends to infinity of fk is 0 this is not actually tending to this is more like it's equal to infinity uh, in the sense that um, it doesn't exist so what does this mean for the production function right this means that at the beginning when no capital is employed whatsoever the marginal productivity of capital is really really high and it's as basically equal to infinity and this means that as you add more and more capital it goes to zero understand we already had f double k negative so this is already adding a very concave dimension mind you f is not necessarily concave uh, but it's adding a concave dimension to it in the sense that you have diminishing returns uh, to the variable factor here which is capital but this is very special in the sense that it says it's not just diminishing but it's actually going to zero so how does this interact with uh, the intensive form production function. Now, um, you know that f dash k equals f k, right? And of course, small k is just k by L. Uh, and therefore, limit as small k tends to 0 plus of f dash k is also infinity, and limit as small k tends to infinity of f dash k. Uh, is also zero. So what does this mean for the production function itself? So you have the production function as k small f of k. This is y. Okay. Understand what it then looks like based on all of these assumptions that we have. What does the intensive form production function looks, look like? Obviously, the domain is positive. You can't have negative amounts of capital. So, at zero, this must be zero as well. Right? This is by essentiality. We have seen that an assumption is that f of when k is zero, output is zero. So, it starts here. That's the first thing. The second thing is that the initial um marginal product is going to be really high and basically vertical right and also that the marginal product that is the slope must be falling and the slope must be positive at the same time so the function looks like this okay so what 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 do you observe here number one f small 0 is 0. Number 2, slope is positive since f dash k is positive. And slope is decreasing since f double dash k is negative. Right? And you can see that asymptotically the slope the slope is becoming zero and at the beginning the slope is basically tending to infinity so i just wanted to add this to our discussion of the intensive form production function earlier